Hey, what's up, Cookie Dough Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Sorry about the different setup. I just kind of, I want to talk about a video for a second. I kind of saw some stuff. Whoa, get get back in there, you. Get back. Ooh, ooh, almost got out of there, did you? Hope you're having a good night. Hope you're having a good day whenever this video comes up. Sorry, camera was doing some stuff. So, I want to talk about something. I've seen a lot of bullshit about, like, waifu cards and market and, like, what kind of cards you're doing stuff. And waifu cards seems to be what everybody talks about, right? So, I kind of want to talk about something. A particular artist keeps coming up, right? So, right there. We got right there, we got Adamant for featuring the entire Diamond Clan. I'm doing this. I'm laying out a bunch of cards because I have years of experience collecting these. I want to explain this to you with the cards in hand and the experience that I've gotten actually collecting these fuckers, right? Okay. Naoki Saito drew this It's this beautiful admin card right here, right? It's awesome. I can't even think of anything like bad to say about it. But, of course, I'm sure everybody read that stupid-ass Kotaku article about that shit. Oh, but it gets outclassed by the women cards, like the, the, the Irida because people are weird and all that stuff, and check all that stuff out. Look, same artist, goes for a lot more money, a lot more cash, right? Now, check this shit out. That's not really uncommon for Saito cards right there. We got Gloria. Very expensive card from VMAX Climax. We got Clara, up and coming from Matchless Fighters. Great set. We got Olivia, promo from the Sun and Moon era. Let me, let me get that back in there for you. But something some people have pointed out is some cards don't get the same treatment. Look at that. Also, a Naoki Saito card. This is going to be Fossil Researcher. Beautiful card from the XY era. Doesn't go up for near as much. We got AZ. Now, some of these XY cards are increasing in value a good little bit, but they are not reaching any of the astronomical prices that some of the waifu cards are. They're just they're just not doing it. It's not happening, right? Must be some weird waifu manipulation bullshit. Am I right, fellas? Woohoo! We schnaw, right? Okay. Got another one for you. So, so check this out right here, right? Okay. Nothing makes the investor bros jizz their pants faster than anything Kanto, right? Check that out. Red's challenge, baby. Double blaze. Woo! Check out that stuff, right? Big money. No, no, not at all. That motherfucker is going for like 35 bucks. We got Blues Tactics from Unified, Mo no, uh, what, what's it called in Japanese? Miracle Twin. Right there, right? Awesome card. Beautiful. It's, it's, it's Kanto, baby. Everybody should love this shit, right? No, worth even less. But check this out. We got Green. Green's Exploration going for like $300 easily. Same exact artist, same stuff. You know, the, the, the old saying, right? It's the it's got to be the waifu stuff, right? Now, Naoki Saito is not the only artist that receives this treatment, right? So we got Kirisaki drawing beautiful cards right here. Rosa, one of my favorite trainers, of course, from that. Uh, one of my favorite trainers from that generation. Sorry, cards were kind of slipping around. I don't think, whew, big money cards right here. Can't have these like slipping around, right? Of course, drew the very nice Marnie card that is worth a ton. Like probably the most expensive card in the Sword and Shield era, right? Of course, the Irida, a oh, waifu, oh, waifu cards, oh yeah. But this doesn't translate very well. Now, this is why I want to say, like, I don't necessarily think it's 100% waifu bullshit, right? So check this shit out. Same exact artist, same waifu tactics, right? We got Oleana right here, right? This is driven by the same artist, and it's going for, like, 40 fucking dollars. Keeps going. We got Roseanne's backup. You can pick this up for, like, 15, 20 bucks. We got Peonia right here, of course. We got Kirisaki, once again. Beautiful card, waifu type stuff, but doesn't doesn't go for near as much. I don't I don't know what the fuck's going on here, dude. What, what the fuck? Oh, a possum. This isn't a popular character. Okay, got another one for you. Skyla. Here's the key, right there. Same artist. Super super waifu ish card, right? Like according to like what everybody's saying, right? Check out this stuff. Yeah, going for sixty four bucks. Oh, well, but the character. Nope, nope. We're not we're not playing that bullshit because right here we got another Skyla card going for about a thousand dollars, right? Now here's the key. Once again, has drawn tons of other cards that do not get this exact same fucking treatment. Right here, we got R Professor Turo, same artist. Oh, well, it's a, it's a female, it's a male professor, not worth as much, not worth as much. Okay, Sada, same artist, nothing, right? Well, not not, not popular characters, it, just, it doesn't make any fucking sense to me sometimes how people can legitimately think this whole thing is waifu and not like people hyping up certain cards. It, it just baffles me. That some people don't understand. They want your money and they will just pick cards randomly. And it's super easy with Japanese right now because they can blame waifu stuff and take zero accountability for spending a fuck ton on boxes. They don't gotta feel bad for it anymore. It's waifu stuff. It's what the it's what the people want. Yeah, it's just characters that don't even mean shit. I mean like Melanie, by by that logic, this card should be two hundred dollars. Easy. Oh, but it's the most recent one. Okay, well this one, forty dollars. I mean same shit, right? Oh, but they're not popular characters. They're, they're fucking, like, they're not main characters. What the fuck's up with Miriam, then? What What is this shit? <laughs> like, <laughs> do, do you see what I'm getting at here? Like, like everyone's saying, like, it's either artists or it's specific cards or it's, it's just, 
It, it's not any of that. I'm telling you right now. Pokemon will just pick a fucking card and hype it up. Not Pokemon. The secondhand market. Excuse me. Let me let me rephrase that. Pokemon just prints these things. The secondhand market will pick cards and just hype them the fuck up. Like like people going like, why is Dendra so goddamn expensive or why is Miriam so fucking expensive? It's because they said it's expensive. They know the secondhand market will get them, and they'll just fuck like. It, and look, these aren't even by Saito. Look, look, Miriam's not even by fucking Saito. Like, what, what's up with that shit right there? Whoa, what's going on here? It's got to just be the artist, right? It's got to just be the artist. That That's not what it is. There's countless examples of stuff. I mean, my, my favorite card right here. I mean, if, if it's waifu shit, what's up with this being so goddamn cheap? Even PSA 10. Like, you can still pick up welders for, like, fucking... I don't know, 30, 40 bucks, you can still find them. It, it's not waifu. I, I'm telling you guys from personal experience and collecting this stuff, it seems like it. And that's the thing people are putting it on. That's what like some dumb people that don't understand the market are going to do. But if you actually look at what cards are still relatively cheap when it's waifu shit, I mean, it just, it's stupid. That's not what it is. That That's my take on this stuff. That's as someone who's actually collected these cards. Not somebody who just talks about these cards and speculates about them. As someone who actually collects these cards, I am telling you, that's not what this is. This is market manipulation and hype. That's all I got. See you later, version.